growing up, all I ever heard about black Americans were they're, uh, they're lazy, don't like to work, they depend on the government. The, without telling the history. That's what they always do. They, without ever mentioning yeah. the history of what they did to black Americans, mm -hmm. right? They're not going to mention the All that, that stuff. We can't get jobs. <laughs> right. We, also, we come in with mm -hmm. that mentality of like kind of like looking down. And if you don't know, I'm putting you on it. Looking down on black Americans because that's what they've been feeding us yeah. the whole time, yeah. right? They're violent, they're this, they're that. Mm -hmm. And does it help that because we would have access to the... Uh, music videos and all that stuff, yeah. right? So oh. it doesn't help. Yeah, we play a role. Right, so it doesn't so. help. At the same time, before I go to that, mm -hmm. so I came to America, oh, don't ever go to town black Americans mm -hmm. or anybody else that's black. Caribbeans too. Yeah. Don't go to Africa. It's dirty. They're poor. They live in huts. Da, da, da. And I was like, at a young age, I realized, I was like, oh, so this what y'all do. Y'all the middleman. But then at the same time, they tell you don't go to Africa. Villages, you have white people living there. Wow. I remember. I will never forget. Twenty twenty. I'm we in the in the um van going to Accra from Takwa, driving down, and you see this white man, dirt road, white man with a Hawaiian shirt, sitting by the roadside selling oranges. Hawaiian. No, it was literally a Hawaiian shirt, sitting by the roadside selling oranges. And I'm just like, you're here. But my people, my black people would never come here. Right. And all, like, because of what we think, because of what we were taught. It's right. So stupid. And I realized that, oh, y'all are in the middle playing this, the, playing this game oh, on yeah. us. You can think off of social media. Now people see, like. Because it was working in the, in the reverse on yeah. our end, too. They yeah. With the arms of an angel video. Every, I mean, when I tell Ethiopian you. Ethiopian kid with a big be, belly with a freaking fly on your nose. I said, y'all don't. You'll be watching TV. <laughs> I'm telling you, you'll be watching TV and that commercial will come on. The lady starts singing literally every Aww. 10. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do. Like. <laughs> 10 to 15 minutes. And I'm like, bro, I just want to watch my cartoon. Right. Like, what is one of this? But it's like every 10 to 15 minutes. Yep. If you have a penny a day, mm -hmm. a dollar a day. If you're an African you child. Save a, you know, if you're up here. And it's just like, we get it. Those situations are very real and those situations are very true. But it was definitely the marketing. Yeah to make us believe that that was everywhere right like when i actually found out that they had like houses mm -hmm. i was like what i thought you know the way they depict it they still in huts yep. you know like there's it's underdeveloped it's third war it's third world mm -hmm. but it's not true a few years ago and even if it was being a first world don't come with a whole lot of peace but third world just mean that you not don't agree with with them in terms of joining the awards and that's what third world really mean it's not because Third world don't mean you're poor. Third world just mean, hey, join us on this in this war. No. Okay, you're a third world country now. I don't want to be first world. Being first world hasn't really got us anywhere. It's not really progressive. Listen, I have a friend. I ain't going to call her. I ain't going to shame him. But a couple years ago, very recent, I said, yo, let's, we should do a trip to Morocco. Mm. Listen, they got hotels. I said, oh, wow. It's, it's canceled. It's <laughs> canceled. I will never <laughs> ask you guys. to go anywhere with me again. No, but I would do it because I'm like, I, I need your eyes to be open because it's. Uh, I would have, I would have, sorry, I would have been insulted. Social media, social Google media is, is free. <laughs> I would have been insulted. I would be like, friend, we can't be friends until you <laughs> use your phone to do the Lord's work. Because why are you writing me? <laughs> Yo. About Morocco. But that's the thing. So it's like. No. I hate the division between us yeah. it pisses me off i'm like because they don't do it to each other but they just watch us do it to each other while they go to africa i just watch divide and conquer That's okay and thing. they're still doing it i just watched a video on uh, not architecture digest but some a lady was doing a house tour mm. i believe i might be wrong she was south southeast asian okay right Mm -hmm. But she was British, right? If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Born and raised in British, but family, whatever. Have a whole mansion in the desert of Morocco. Mm -hmm. And she's talking about how beautiful the country is, the culture, the food, I'm sure. the natural resources. I'm, sure. I'm like, but you, us, as we'll never step foot in there because they tell us whatever how they want to tell us. But they know. Mm -hmm. Growing up, one of my teachers was white. Africa, listen, Africa is America's best kept secret. When I tell you they have done Wakanda such a ain't even amazing. fake for real. Okay. It's not. And that, 
Hey, <laughs> don't get me started because you know I'm a conspiracy theory. It's not fake for real. I'll, I'll, I'll mess around and I'll tell y'all <laughs> that that uh, vibranium is real. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, but Emma, you, I'll, you find way, <laughs> I'll find a way. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, we'll find something to connect that dot. But no, it's like the way that they've been able to kind of swindle us out yep. of our own... Yep. Home. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. so there is a family, however, though, on YouTube called um, Black Acres of the Gambia. Okay. And they actually, he was a black man that was in the military and he moved his family from Tennessee to mm. Gambia. Mm. And they've been out there purchasing acres, using his military money to mm-hmm. purchase acres to get, employ people. He mm-hmm. gives the locals a lot of business, mm-hmm. farms, creating apartments mm. to house like... I see it. You know, like, black people are definitely mm-hmm. saying, mm-hmm. that's where the opportunity is, yeah. honestly speaking. Like, it sounds drastic. It sounds crazy. It sounds life-changing. But mm-hmm. all of that is beautiful. I don't, I don't see that.